Welcome into the real deal. Um, New Mexico State week. It, it, it's it's crazy to think that it's it's game eleven. Yeah. It, it's hard to believe how fast this thing has has gone. But um, it's it's almost felt like two or three different seasons from the outside. Has it felt that way inside the locker room? Yeah, and that's kind of how we've approached it too. I mean, when we were losing a lot in the in a row, we kind of had a, a change. Coach Freeze erased all those and said, "This is the second half of the season. This is how we're going to do it." And, um, had a different approach since then. So yeah, I'd say it's been a second season and one that everybody's got a lot of positive energy and vibes into. You've been part of three different staffs, really really four because it was two different yeah. staffs last year. Right. What has this staff done differently to keep guys engaged and to keep things moving forward and to keep that positive energy? What, what have they done a good job of? Yeah, I think it's just, just positive energy, positive vibes uh, outside of football. I think whenever we come in each week and Coach Freeze has a message for us, it's always through the lens of being grateful about something, uh, being excited to be here, uh, like living out your blessing as a human and as a football player. So I think um, given those guys, given everybody on this team, just, just that that little valley to go to um, outside of football that is positive, then it makes everything else in this building positive as well. So you, you can tell like guys are living it and also on the field producing it too. Uh, along those same lines, you got a group of coaches, a lot of them, this is a huge opportunity when you get to a place like Auburn, or most of them it has been. A lot of players who transferred in yeah. for this type of opportunity, seeing their response and how grateful they are what is it, has it done that for you older guys that have been here a while too? Has it kind of rejuvenated you guys a little bit? Sure, yeah, and, and I've talked to you about this before, but um, just being bowl eligible. I mean, in years past you would think, oh, well, I really don't want to get this bowl game. Yeah. We better get this bowl game, or I don't know if I really want to play in it, but our team is so excited for a bowl game, and that's, that's why we played the way we played last week. So we could be bowl eligible immediately, so. Yeah, there's just an excitement. There's guys, like, like you said, a rejuvenation with a lot of different parts going in and out of our football program. And um, I think it's for the better. We, we've talked confidence the last three or four weeks and it's continued to grow. What's it like when, when you flip on the video and watch the way you guys performed at Arkansas? Man, it, it, it gets everybody in a great mood. Um, everybody, like you said, playing with confidence is huge especially in a league that momentum can switch so many different things. Um, but it, it, it goes to show that when you take each game one game at a time, um, it's not just cliche, it's that that's the result you get. So I think it's helped us too, um, like wins over Vandy, uh, Arkansas. This week what we have in front of us, we're going to take it one game at a time, even though we're looking forward to all that. Mm -hmm. But um, we're going to focus on this game because we saw – the results of that. Yeah. How much is this, the maturity level of this team? There's a bunch of older players on both sides of the ball. How much does that help in a week like this when you know, hey, you can turn it on anywhere you go across the country and you can see games like this where teams go, hey, well, we didn't take them seriously and look what happened. Yep. Uh, maturity is huge. Uh, like you said, it's going to play into a, a, a huge part of how this season ends. I mean, we still have three games left. Uh, so going into each week maturely and not overlooking an opponent, they're a good football team. That's the same thing we said last week about Arkansas. Uh, no matter what the result was, that was our preparation. So yeah, I'm, there's no such thing as a cupcake game in, in college football. And these guys are talented, they're well coached, uh, they play hard. They know how to win, right? They, and they know games. how to win, yeah, they got a good record. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying, uh, and I've told multiple people, don't expect it to be a cakewalk, these guys, this is, this is a huge game for them and their program. Is this one of those weeks where you look at it and go, hey, take care of Auburn? And I know that's been the, that's been the message every yeah. week, but is it especially important this week, go, hey, take care of your business and then everything else takes care of itself? Sure, because whenever you start looking forward, uh, you're no longer taking care of your business. You're worried about other people's business. You're worried about Bama's business. You're worried about bowl business. Taking care of Auburn is taking care of us this week. This week. And that's, like you said, it's been preached to us, but especially so toward the end of the season, games like this, um, at home, we, we've got a chance to take care of our business. You got a couple of chances now to play at home. I mean, it's been a long road trip season, five games away from home, two in a row. 
the longest trips usually that Auburn can take other than maybe a Missouri. Yeah. How nice is it to have these final two games at home in the regular season? Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. There's no, no place to play like Jordan-Hare. Um, I personally enjoy away games. I like the different atmosphere. I like getting booed when you run on this, onto the field, and that's all cool. But there's nothing like having an entire town have your back, uh, 90,000, 89,000, whatever it is. Um, have your back throughout a whole game, and it's it's the best atmosphere in the country. I'm, I'm not going to get you to trash talk, but I'm, i got to ask this one. Is it better to be booed, or is it better when you see people leaving? Huh, <laughs> yeah. When you're when – you're, when you walk into somebody's stadium and you see people li- leaving, it's, it's a pretty good feeling. Uh, it is. The challenge with that is that you don't let off the gas, which right. I, we didn't last week, yep. um, even though that was the case. But – yeah, that's the big challenge because it, it's it's good to look up and see people walking out of the stands. Yep, um, energy. That's been it's been a term we've heard from the get go. You guys brought the energy last week. That is that the challenge this week is to go. Hey, we got to have the same energy, same mindset going into Saturday. Absolutely, and don't let the foot off the gas. That's that's what we're telling everybody. That's what I said on the sideline every play at Arkansas. That's what I'm going to do this weekend too. Just energy. Don't let off the gas and just. Keep fighting and let's finish. All right. Auburn, New Mexico State, Saturday, 3 o'clock. Luke, tell them the deal. War Eagle.